A Golden Discovery. Today we're going to read about how gold was discovered in California back in the mid 1800s. It all started off with, on January 24th, 1848, a man named James Marshall made one of the most important discoveries in U.S. history. That morning, while overseeing the construction of a sawmill in Central California, he found something that would change the country forever. Gold! Marshall worked for John Sutter, a Swiss businessman who had settled in California's northern Central Valley. Sutter built a place he called Sutter's Fort on the land near where the American and Sacramento rivers came together. Sutter's Fort served as a headquarters or home base for Mr. Sutter's businesses. If you notice on the right hand side, there is a picture of Sutter's Fort and there is a caption underneath it. It says Sutter's Fort served as a headquarters or home base for Mr. Sutter's businesses. For Sutter's many businesses, including a sawmill that he hoped would supply settlers in the area with lumber. The sawmill, known as Sutter's Mill, was being built at the place that is now known today as the town of Coloma, which was about 48 miles from Sutter's Fort on the southern part of Amer the American River. It was in this river that Marshall saw that fateful flash of gold. Fateful can mean disastrous or something that is unwanted. So let's take a look and think about why would gold want to be unwanted? If you notice at the right, there is a map of where the American River is and where Sutter's Mill was located in relevance to the American River. So let's think about why would this be fateful for Sutter? Sutter tried to keep Marshall's discovery secret. He knew that once the news spread, his land would be overrun by hopeful miners in search of gold. That would delay the opening of his sawmill. The secret soon got out though and spread quickly throughout California. Sutter's workers left their jobs to dig for gold along the American River and its tributaries. Tributaries are rivers that run into the, um, the river and make it larger. By March in 1848, the news reached San Francisco, along with a sample of gold flakes that was publicly displayed. Gold fever had begun and large numbers of prospectors, which are uh, people who search for gold, began to arrive in the area. It wasn't long before the news spread across the United States, over the Atlantic Ocean to Europe, south into Mexico and South America, and west across the Pacific Ocean to Asia. So this really spread, the news really spread worldwide and many people started coming to America to find their, hopefully, their fortune. Marshall's discovery caused a huge migration, that means people coming into the country, that changed California and the United States forever. You will notice that down below there's a timeline. This timeline starts in 1839 when Mr. John Sutter arrives in California and Mexico's governor gives Sutter a land grant for 48,000 acres. That's an incredible amount of land at that time. So I'm pretty sure Mr. Sutter didn't want a lot of people um, coming and messing up his land. In July of 1845, it shows that James Marshall arrives at Sutter's Fort after traveling by wagon train from Oregon. So if you are 
reading Ranger in Time, this is kind of a fact that kind of goes with that book. August of 1847, Sutter hires Marshall to build a sawmill. In September of 1847, Marshall and his crew begin building Sutter's mill. And in January, on January 24th of 1848, Marshall discovers gold near Sutter's mill. So, our assignment today is, now that you've read about how gold was discovered in California and the effects it had on John Sutter and his businesses, you're going to go into Schoology and answer the four comprehension questions. Make sure that you look for the puzzle piece and it will say Golden Discovery Comprehension. I look forward to reading your answers and have a great Wednesday. Go Eagles.